Today we're going to be making caterpillars. So we're using lots of pom-poms. We've got options to make caterpillars onto sticks. These are the tongue depressors, or you could also use lollipop sticks, or you can also use clothes pegs, and then you can actually clip them places. They can even be little hair clips. <laughs> or we can also use leaves. This is the easiest one to do because then you just get a bit of green paper or white paper and just paint it green, and then cut a leaf shape. And I've done a few little holes from a hole punch so it looks like the caterpillar's been munching. And then I just drew on some leaf veins so it looks like a leaf. The next thing we had to do in preparation is to get lots of pom-poms. So you can use all different color pom-poms. You can even use some sparkly ones if you have, or rainbow colored ones. But all different colors and sizes are great. The next thing we have to do after getting the pom-poms is cut some antennas. So I have cut some little antennas from black paper. You could do other colors. Um, it's easy if you have the two antennas joining at the bottom because then it just makes it super easy to stick on. Then we need to get some glue. So you could just use normal PVA glue or I've got some like wood kind of glue, just any, any make is fine. And you also you don't really need some scissors and you need some googly eyes. So the first thing we need to do is draw a line of glue on the paper. Oh, there we go, a nice big thick line. Now, can you stick in all your different pieces? So Carol, would you like to take some? There you go. Pop, put some along in the line. So the googly eyes don't stick very well to sparkly ones. So on the head should be something which is nice and smooth. There you go. Now, look at that, that's beautiful. Now, you need to stick on the googly eyes. So I'm gonna give two eyes for you and two eyes for you. There you go. Do you want to stick them onto here? And get a bit of glue. And then we go squeeze, one eye, two eyes. Can you stick it on? Yeah, you very me? good. There you go, one eye, two eyes. Well done. Now the last thing we have to do is put on the little antenna. So we're gonna squeeze that between the, 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 the head and the one before. Just like that, squeeze it and stick it into the glue. Wow, isn't he so cute? What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, shall we stick that one for you? You put your antenna in, you squeeze it in between the last one and the photo. There you go. Oh, very nice. You want to show them to the to to the camera. That's a beautiful, beautiful caterpillar. Showing your caterpillar too. So this is the finished product. We have a couple on pegs, onto the sticks, and some on leaves. It's a fantastic activity for children's small finger movement mobility to add in all the different pom-poms and also the googly eyes. And it's very good for counting and also color recognition. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for Little Bub's next videos. We'll be doing lots of different things, artwork activities, stories, and fun games. Thank you.